Hello and welcome everyone to another live stream here on my channel. Welcome Crescendo, Deathwing Aujun, Frederick, Sami, Yani, Hassan, Nikoli. Welcome guys. Thank you, thank you, I'm good. I hope you're all good too. Okay, like usual, I'm making a sound check. Everything seems normal on my side. Let me know if everything is fine on your side too, guys. <laughs> How are you going to play with the bulwark? Hello, welcome, welcome everyone new. Levin, Salmoon. Alaikum Salam, Desperado. Thanks man, thanks Deathwing Aujun, I'm doing good. Okay, waiting in for more people to gather and we'll get started very soon. Okay, let's start with the hangar then. So I do have the incinerator behemoth here with the new pilot. Let's see how this thing does. We do have the classic Fafnir here, my favorite robot. A Capri, Hellburner for beacon capping, and we do have the topic of this live stream, the Ansel Bulwark. So, <laughs> with this thing we don't have any firepower, but we do have crazy amount of shielding. With the fortifier boost and with all the pilot skill boost for the shield. With this setup basically we do have all the shields that are possible in the game. Physical shield, Ansel, Aegis. And with the, you know, with the drone shielding, we do have the absorber shield too. Also, I'll be using jump unit with the bulwark. So, I have put this on low durability defense and on half durability de defense microchips here with the with the control resistor. Hello, welcome, welcome. I Google. Arya, welcome, guys. I'm pretty sure this won't gonna do very good but we're gonna try it nonetheless see how much shielding we have try to you know provide some shielding to the teammates grab some beacons and we do have the jump unit to escape you know bad situations Yeah, yeah, it could be crazy if it had, you know, inbuilt healing ability too. I could use, you know, the advanced repair, but I think uh, I tried it and the jump unit seems to let you escape, you know, hard situations more easily. Okay, more people are gathering in. Let's start right away then. Hello, welcome, Alex Ahoy. Does the fortifier module work on the Ansel as well? Yep, it does. It works on every shielding, on Aegis shield, on Ansel and the physical shield of the bulwark. Okay, let's start with it right away. Okay, the only thing I want to do with this is capture beacons and provide support for the teammates. Let's go on this side. Oh, we do have a Ravana coming up. And the thing is that, you know, these new weapons and the sonic shotguns can't bypass the Ansel shield. Look. If he doesn't get inside my shield, he'll have a really hard, hard time, you know, getting through those shields. Yeah, that's one good situation for this bulwark. Let's recharge our Ansel shield. Let's provide shielding for our teammate here. Okay, Ansel, let's use the Ansel now. Okay, we do have quite a bit of support here. And we do have the mechanic pilot skill and the 
the perk of the nebula that helps us with the healing here. <laughs> Let's jump up. We already have our mission accomplished here. Nice. <laughs> we can die peacefully. So, let's see. Uh, we don't have our home here. We have one teammate going for that side. Let's try to help out here. I think our teammates need us here the most. Finish the Skyros first. Okay, he's done. Nice, for now we look good on the beacon bar. Okay, let's not let him take our home beacon. He's pushing for our home. Okay, boost someone there. And then finish him off, nice. You know, I actually want to go to our luchador friend right there. I hope we can be in time. Yeah, I wasn't in time again. Our north light could have helped him. Let's link. Wait, we don't have the center. But maybe we can take this beacon. Hello, hello, welcome everyone. That's coming new to the live stream. Today's topic is the Ancel Bulwark. All in one shield fortress. Okay, we're suppressed, let's wait a bit. Okay, we almost have this beacon, but the enemies are dropping in. Ah, we're dead. The bulwark is speed. Yep, it could have been even better if we had, you know, someone linking to us. Hey, welcome Venus, welcome to the stream. Okay, let's go with the Fafnir. Okay, I don't want to fly up. Repair amplifier almost charged. Okay, fly now. Let's use the north light as well. We need to get up, get out of sight a bit here. Ah, uh, but we do have the Minos. Okay, we are looking bad on the beacon bar. I'm gonna try to run the Hellburner now. Okay, let me drop here. Try to see which beacon is less occupied. You can at least turn this one white. Yeah, this won't be enough, but at least we occupied some of these players on this side. Let me see. We should drop in quickly here. We were looking pretty good on the beacon bar at the beginning, but... You know, in the middle of the match, we lost almost all the beacons. Hello, welcome, welcome, everyone new coming to the stream. Lone Spanker, welcome. Okay, we are in Behemoth, but we shouldn't care about it. We need to get a beacon quickly. Let's see how this new pilot does. You know, the new uh, Peregrine Rain pilot with the Incinerator. You know, I tried it a bit earlier, and it's not as bad as it's supposed to. But, you know, I still believe the Behemoth Pilot is much more valuable. Okay, we are destroyed here. Let's drop on our home.
Yeah, this match uh, will probably be over soon. <laughs> okay, it was a defeat, but for the Bulwark it was a good game. Uh, do you have the Armadillo drone? I think the Mandra can be really good with the new drone. Well, I don't have it yet, but when I get it, I will probably do a video on it. Okay, let's get quickly into another Beacon Rush match. Okay, I, I see more people are gathered up. Maybe for those that, that are coming new, let me show the Bulwark setup quickly again. Here is our setup. I'm using it with all fortifiers and all the pilot skills that boost the shielding. With this, we almost have, not almost, we do have all the shieldings, Ancel, Aegis, Physical Shield, and the Absorber Shield from the, from the Drone Microchip. Okay, getting into quick, into Beacon Rush match quickly. Oh, this one. Okay, the middle beacon is far from us, but I'm gonna try to try to support our teammate nonetheless. Oh, thank you for the boost, Capri friend. But the thing is, we might have a squad on the other side. I see very strong players. Let's see. They do have <laughs> they do have the smuta smuta weapons scatter. Neither of those weapons can bypass our shielding, by the way. Let's get back a bit. Okay, we don't have much use here, but at least let's try to provide some shielding. To the teammates we need to get out of this to get other beacons quickly as soon as possible come on guys okay nice if we can get the a beacon that would be perfect well we almost got him but we need to watch out for the d beacon too because there are four guys coming for this side okay let's drop in here I'll be waiting for my teammate to drop and then link to him. Okay, down to last 10 with him. Take him out. Okay, our teammates did a good push for the A beacon, but we weren't able to take it. Okay, let's back off a bit here. Repair amplifier charged. Okay, the enemy is pushing for the beacon too. Well, it is unlikely that we are gonna win, but... I'm gonna try to push for the beacons nonetheless here. Okay, we are locked for the moment. Let's link to him. Put up a north light here and then I'm gonna push for the other beacon. Uh oh, two people dropped in. Let me see, where can I drop next? Hmm. Okay, let me drop quickly here. Let's not lose this beacon. Okay. We still do we still do have their home beacon though. That's one good thing. Hello everyone new to the stream, welcome.
Okay, it looks like a perfect time to get the home beacon. Yeah, I wasn't able to support the luchador there. Nah, backing off, backing off didn't help much as here. Let's try the Nodens now. We have a Skyros, that's a good thing. We can put some pressure. Okay, let's heal up. Okay, this Revenant is gonna cause some problems. Okay, we almost have the north light here. And he has the acid weapons, that means we can heal quite a bit of damage. Let's see, do we have... Okay, I wasn't in time again. Let's try to heal our teammate there. Hello, welcome everyone new to the stream. Okay, one last north light hopefully. Well, just right when we were dead. Iceman is here, he's for- yeah, yeah, I know Iceman, he's a very strong player. Nice, that was a quick match. For the bulwark, we need some more smaller maps, you know, to let our jump reach as quick as possible, you know, the middle beacon. Can you go free for all, please? Well, <laughs> you know, in free for all, this setup wouldn't do anything. But in this game mode, we can do at least something to provide shielding to the teammates and grab the beacons. Okay, they are okay they are taking this beacon okay flamethrower that's not good for us let's try to jump come on okay Let's at least, at least, not let this Skyros take our home beacon. Okay, we do have someone here. If our teammate stays on the beacon, maybe I can, I can jump for this side. Okay, let's see. Okay, the teammate is staying there. Let's jump to this beacon quickly. With the hopes of getting it. Okay, 
Yeah, we can counter the scatter setup as long as it doesn't go inside our shield. Nice, we were able to turn it white. So our teammates can now can now push for it. Let's still try to provide shields to them. Okay, we're finally dead. Yeah, we accomplished our mission, I believe. Now let me see. Someone is going for the E beacon. Yeah, we do need to counter that guy. We can't let him take the take our E beacon. Let's use the north light quickly. Hello, welcome to the stream, Meshari Suleiman, Legendary Tav, welcome. Everyone new to the stream, welcome guys. Okay, we do have a tough robot here. We do have our own Capri, so we can stand two guys in this case. Let's make some maneuvers here so they miss most of their shots. Okay, repair amplifier charged. And the Fenrir is almost out. Okay, nice. Now let's push for the sea beacon. Let's back off a bit. There are <laughs> eight scatters looking at us. Wait for his shield. Okay, he's going for our home. I hope we will be able to catch him here. Let's go inside his shield and then take him out. Nice. Okay, we are dead. Let's see. We can counter him with the... I want him to close close up a bit actually, but he's not coming up. Let's go with the Fafnir. We can counter his physical shield with this. using the shield now well, I think we didn't get boosted enough so I'm gonna I actually want to drop but let me see trying to push for this beacon maybe Okay, let's actually stay in the air here. We need the shield breaker here. Using the healing and north light. Okay, let's check behind. I thought someone was capturing the beacon behind us. Nice, his ass assets are having a hard time getting through the Egg is shield of the north light. Nice, we got him. But we do have only two beacons, that's not a good thing. Okay, we are suppressed it seems like. Actually, let's focus this guy, we can counter him better. Okay, the north light was in perfect timing. Let's drop here actually. And try to... 
try to support our teammates with the healing. Okay, I wanna support this guy, but I don't have any more healing for now. I actually shouldn't get too close with this setup, but I need to. Well, actually, let's back off a bit here. Let's try to get an angle on this side. This Dazzler Sharanga is very dangerous. Let's try to take him out. Nice. Okay, provide healing to him. We need to provide as much healing as we can because the more healing we provide, the more defense defense points we have. Okay, I'm gonna stay on this beacon. Can I suppress him? Yeah, I think I can. Okay. But the bad thing is that we are only three players left. That's the unfortunate situation. But we do have here the Iceman and uh, Excommunicado. It seems like they are good players. So I think we do have a chance here. Okay, we are destroyed, let me see. We do have the Hellburner here. Oh no, this Skyros is gonna be very problematic. Okay, he is going for the center beacon. If I can lock him down, maybe. Yeah, I was able to lock him down, but if he doesn't open up his ability, I won't be able to take this beacon. And we only have one minute left, so that's not good. Yeah, this, this ball is very tough. You can't even crack that. Yeah, only two, 20 seconds here. Let's see if he'll open up one more time. I know it wasn't enough. It was GG nonetheless, I believe. Welcome everyone new. Yeah, a bad, this was a bad hanger to go against strong players, you know. Quite, quite high damages we did, but, you know, it wasn't enough. The enemy team was very strong. How's the Nodens? I'm thinking of maxing another two of those weapons. The Nodens is really good, actually. It's, you know, the best support you can provide to Titans, because the healing is in percentage. And it can heal quite a lot of HP. The best, you know, the best body for the Luchador, in my opinion. Hello, welcome Ultimate Pilot. Welcome everyone new, Mortal WR, Red Hulk. Okay, Shenzhen map, let's go with the Bulwark again. You know, I, I want to go right into the middle beacon. Let's see what happens. Even if we, if we die. Okay, absorber shield used. Now let's use the Aegis shield. Nice, we got the beacon.
Okay, we do have a Loki there. Maybe you can support him. Yeah, the good thing about the Ansel Shield is that, you know, the, those new weapons, Smuta, Razdor, Kromola, Mace, Hammer, Kajal, those don't go through Ansel Shields. And the scatter weapons too. So that's one good thing. But the energy weapons like Puncher, they go th right through. And the rockets, of course. Let's jump back here. Okay, he wants to get go inside our shield. If he doesn't go inside, he he nearly can't, you know, bypass the answer shield we have here. Yeah, but <laughs> he is now inside. Okay, okay, one and a half minutes, good timing, or enough time to survive for this full world. Thank you, Jamie. Welcome to the stream. Okay, let's try to... Actually, let's not let them take this beacon. Focusing the scatter setup first. Because he's the most dangerous one. Okay, nice, we got him. Nice, just in time, his repair amplifier was was just charged. Okay, let's try to get the middle beacon. Wait our suppression ability. Nice, we got the middle beacon. Let's try to take out this nemesis now before he gets the... Okay, nice, we do have a teammate there. Let's boost this Fenrir. And help out in home now. Let's stay in beacon now. Support our, our Heimdall friend. We got taken out, so let's drop our nodes here. Uh oh, another Orion. <laughs> yeah, but we're almost at... Yeah, one more North Light and we can heal or our healable HP. Let's see who we can heal here. This Squall Minos right there is waiting for his ability. Okay, but at least we were able to suppress him. And we got him, okay. I think Nodens is better used, you know, a bit defensively staying in the background, but with these weapons it can it can still brawl in face, you know, face to face distance. Hello, I'm LOL Gamer. Ooh, too much Orion's coming at us. Let's back off a bit and use our North Light here. Trying to heal up anyone we can. Yeah, this time we were in time. Let's heal up the other one if we can. Not sure if we were able to heal him, but... Yeah, let me see. Too much stuff going on and we're dead. 
Okay, let's take the Hellburner. Let's not waste any more time. Get some beacons. I've been having some uh, matches with the Hellburner. It really does very good. Better than my expectations. But the thing I like most about it is its speed. It seems like the same situation in the first matches. Our teammates seem to have mech'd out. Okay, I'm gonna wait for my repair ability and I'm gonna rush for the beacons. That's the only thing I can do to win the game. Yeah, with two players left, I don't think we can, we can do much here. Okay, one last push with the Fafnir. Okay, that's game. A good game for the Bulwark, but we still lost the game. Hello, Fletch. Welcome to the stream. Thank you. Deep the beacons. You know, I tried to, but I needed a little bit more, more support from the teammates as well. Yeah, still not too bad game. Okay, let's drop into a beacon rush match right away. Uh, the drop rates are atrocious. I got nothing but components, and the special price was a paint job. Ah, uh, you know, with the event coins, right? Yes, sometimes it can be, I also realize, sometimes it can be, you know, very unlucky. With the latest events, uh, we see the drop rates seem to be reduced really much. That's something I don't like either. Thank you, Ultimate Pilot. Okay, <laughs> another Shenzhen map. Let's go with the Bulwark again. All in one shield fortress. Jump into the middle right away. Nice, we got the beacon, but we need someone to protect it. Let's stay here until more people try to come in. Okay, nice. They got him. We also got a Capri support. That's nice. Let's try to use it to get this beacon. Uh oh. Yeah, the shield breaker pilots, they are they are the biggest problem to this setup. Okay, we got two beacons with it. If we stay too much with this setup, we're gonna do bad to our teammate. But we are dead anyways. So, nice, we got this beacon. Let's help our teammates here. Nice, we got the shell. Okay, this time I'm gonna try to do better with the beacons. Let's boost our teammate here. Let's grab the center beacon. Okay, they do have too much harpies and sirens, it seems like. That's not good for them.
Okay, let's make the Revenant teleport here if possible. So we can take this beacon. Boosting our teammate. Okay, he has a whiteout drone. That means no shielding for him. Let's try to take this beacon again. Boost him up. Well, this luchador has a lot of HP, but we can... We, are, we can cope with him. Okay, we are suppressed. Let's wait it out. Boost someone there. And then go all in. Oh, I didn't realize we actually got the beacon. We must have gotten it uh, when he jumped, actually. Okay, let's try to take out the mirror mats here. Okay, let me jump in quickly with the setup here. We can counter the shell perfectly with that. You can also use this shield, you know, to charge the repair amplifier, uh, the nuclear amplifier. Okay, I do see an Arthur there. Oh no, 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 no! We do have quite a lot low HP. Let me see. We are still in an unfortunate situation right now. Let's try to provide a north light to this luchador. Hopefully in time. Okay, let's first try to protect the beacons. Oh, we are losing too, big, too much beacons at once. Wait, his last stand. This game is gonna be another hard one, but I gotta still try it. Okay, he dropped there. Let's drop him to last stand if possible. Okay, he's coming with Scorpion at us. Let's use our repair ability. So I'm just in time. Nice, we got two beacons, we have three now, but we still need to hold this. Okay, that's a Ravana. Okay, we died there, but let me see what... Uh, we do have a Luchador here, but still, I need to drop here to get the beacon. use the north light right away <laughs> okay we are still we are again the okay we do have one more player with us but probably that's gonna be a loss again <laughs> I think the bulwark might be causing bad luck you know <laughs>
We got quite a lot of boost here, but the match is almost over. And yep. I play on Steam, but uh, my game hasn't launched for the past three days. Any help? Um, no, I'm not sure, man. You know, what do you mean by it hasn't launched? You mean like a black screen, maybe? Ooh, 13 beacons. I think we did good with the beacons, but the enemy did better. You know, they did better combined. Nonetheless, let's still keep going. Hello, welcome to the stream, Shago. The Bulwark itself is actually doing its job fine. We are taking beacons with it, but it somehow looks like it's causing, you know, bad luck to us. Welcome, Lignarius. Welcome to the stream. Teşekkür ederim, Türk Alpha. Okay, this is taking too much. Let's cancel it out and try to rematch. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, Daler uh, Ksanov. Yeah, it would be really helpful if you guys could like the stream, you know. It would help the YouTube algorithm. Okay, maybe I should... Maybe I should put one weapon to it, you know, like one puncher. Okay, nice. We do have a Capri support. Let's jump to the beacon right away. Okay, we got the beacon. Let's tr try to provide shielding to him. He's out. Let's try to grab one more beacon if possible before we before we ditch out. Okay, this beacon seems low, but let's take this one. Thank you for the boost, Capri friend. Let that that really helps. Okay, we are both taking the beacon. I'm actually gonna go there, and we do have two teammates there can maybe provide some shield, you know. But the bad thing is that I actually forgot to recharge my Aegis shield in the meantime. You know, that's that's not good news. Let's see. Welcome to the stream, good mood guy. Hello, Maichi, welcome to the stream. Uh-oh. Let me actually drop here quickly. Nice, we had a teammate that had the same idea. Provide north light to both of us if possible. Okay, I need to focus the scatter guy. Taking him out, f out first. Nice, nuclear amplifier is also charged. Okay, we need to boost him, uh, but we are blinded. Let's wait it out a bit. Okay, nice. Let's go this way. Okay, I do see a Revenant. Uh, he jumped right in front of us. Let's actually back off a bit. Okay, enemies are running from beacon to beacon again.
We need to do the same thing. Maybe we can take this beacon, let's see. Okay, we took him out. One north light here. Maybe we should help out for this sea beacon, but I'm not quite sure. Or actually, let's do with this Capri and try to push for their home. Let's both get the shield. Okay, boosting him up. Nice, we got this beacon. Now we can maybe help on this side. Maybe we can provide north light to him, that would be perfect. Nice. For now we're doing a good job with the beacons, we just need to deal with the luchador for now. Okay, north light to three of us. Let's go with him here. Okay, a hawk, a rochi, a revenant there. Let's see what this guy is in. Okay, he's destroyed now. Okay, I need to boost this guy up. Nice. Let's take this beacon while our teammates deal with him. Okay, this time our team, I think our team was the lucky one. Most of us were pushing great for the beacons. Let's boost our harpy friend here. Actually, we can boost this Sharanga. Let's boost him quickly. It wasn't quite in time, but still, the match is almost over. Let me see. So, the big drone must be the best for the Capri. I believe so. In my opinion, uh, that one is the best. If you have the Punchy Pilot, it does, you know, provide quite a lot of damage output for for the whole ability you know with the uh, on immune um, on suppression immune chips <laughs> thank you Rubina Akhtar welcome to coming to the stream thank you for coming to the stream oh man my English is really bad <laughs> thank you Surab nice 11 beacons this time was was enough for the win Yeah, the bulwark, you know, this is not like a really um, serious setup, but I wanted to try it just for fun. It provides all type of shielding. Our only goal was, you know, to capture some beacons and to pro provide shielding for our teammates with this setup. And I think it managed to do its mission. And by the way, uh, um, you originally weren't able to put ancils on the bul bulwark. Not true when they actually changed it. I was very surprised that I could put Ansels on this. 
you know, for now, till now we did some good games. Let's try another one. Yeah, Hamza, Hamza, but you know, that's an unfortunate situation, but there is a lot of stuff going in the background. Teşekkür ederim, Bolt Pilot Fury. Hello, Hazır Demir. After I level up uh, my Behemoth Puncher Pilot, can you show me your skill? Yep, I can show the skills for the Behemoth. <laughs> finally, you get a victory. Yep, finally. Let's see if we can get a victory on this one. Can you try Ansel Erebus? Well, for now, I think, you know, this setup is enough. Oh, this Nightingale is gonna capture the beacon. We were just in time, but we are... Yeah, we are getting quite a lot of focus. The beacon in front of us is actually... Defenseless, let's... Let's jump and try to take this one. Nice, we do have an Orochi too. That's a plus for us. And yeah, we were able to capture it actually, that's good. Wait, can we push him like, like we do with the Luchador? Of the beacon? I don't think we can do this with, with jump unit, right? Wait, let me try it before I die. No, <laughs> the jump unit is not that powerful. Uh, with what should we drop here? Let me see. Let's drop with this. Okay, we did quite some damage. Let's wait our suppression. Another Revenant is coming up. Are we suppressed? I don't think we are. Okay, we aren't suppressed. Let's fire up them. Okay, now we are suppressed. Let's wait it out a bit. Meanwhile, waiting for his ability to end. Oh, this might be a low level Revenant. He died very fast. And for those that that are coming new, I'm running the new pilot on this, by the way. Uh, my opinion is that the Behemoth pilot is more valuable than this. But still, I made a test. It's actually coming up as a separate video. And the pilot itself isn't, isn't very bad. This new pilot for the skull type weapons. The good thing is that we have this beacon. Let's try to let it stay so. Oh, he's gonna get that one. Okay, after getting this beacon, I'm gonna try to push for that one again. Oh, this guy is running the reviver drone. I think he, yep, he got, he got quite a lot of HP right, right when he was almost dead. I see more and more reviver drones being used lately. By the way, not sure if it's really that, you know, that effective. Okay, the beacon is actually white. Nice, we somehow managed to get this beacon. 
Let's try to deal with the Luchador now. I don't know if I should drop with my Fafnir here. Okay, let's try it. We can... Okay, this guy has Puncher. If we wait him until he lands and let him fire at us, we can accumulate quite a lot of firepower. Let's wait him out. <laughs> nice. I think he fi fired all his shot at us. shots at us. Let's stay on the beacon. Nice. We are quite a lot of boosted now. Oh, he's, com <laughs> he's coming for revenge. But you boosted us quite a lot of... Quite a lot, buddy. And we are good on the beacons, it seems like. Let's see you. Nice, the match is over, it seems like. When are you going to make a video for the new drone? Well, I don't have it available yet, I believe. When it becomes available, maybe in the upcoming days. Uh, maybe, I think we met before the broadcast, my name is Sonic. Yeah, it sounds really familiar. Maybe we could have met in the battlefield today. What is the time at your end? Uh, right now it is 6.26 p.m. Revenant is so dope. Yep, I also like the Revenant. Uh, from where we get the Armadillo drone, it is not in the box opening. The Armadillo drone is here, uh, in the operations. Let me see, it's in the D operation. It's the last price in the D operation. Thank you, thank you Lucinda for your message. Still running Fafnir, huh? <laughs> yep, Maichi, I actually really enjoy my, uh, really enjoy the Fafnir still. Love running it from time to time. Yep, yep, it, uh, the Armadillo drone is actually on the Operation Pass, like I showed. By the way, someone uh, wanted to see the pilot skills for the Behemoth, so here they are. These are the preferred skills for... my preferred skills for the Behemoth. Even with its own pilot, I'm still using those skills. What do you think about the new robot Seraph? Well, for now it is... I think it is quite a bit underpowered for now, but I can also say that I'm mostly sure it will gonna get buffed in the upcoming test sessions. Yeah, it will. It will very likely be meta when it comes out. I just hope that they don't. They don't just overdo it, like for example, what they did with the Fafnir. Well, shall we try something different here, maybe? But actually, let's not do it because this is the topic of the live stream. Let's go right away with this setup. I love to run my Fafnir, but now it's so slow. <laughs> yep, if only it got, you know, a bit of speed back, you know, or its original speed back, it would still be fun and usable in my opinion. They do nerf the, its, its built-in weapon mechanics quite a bit, so even if it gets speed back, I think its built-in weapon would be balanced overall. Do you speak Turkish? Yep, I do speak Turkish. Okay, let's go right away with this. Nice, Capri support, thank you. Going right into the cen center to provide some shields. Or actually, let's go to this side. Our teammate might need us here. Let's 
let's deactivate the Aegis now. Okay, the Smutas cannot bypass the Ancel Shield. And we do have eight Smutas now, it seems like. I think we're doing, you know, not a bad job here, providing a lot of shielding for our teammate here. Until we die. And there are actually three Capris here, man. They are very tough to deal with. Let's use the Aegis now. Okay, it's depleted. Let's recharge it now. Okay, the beacon is ours. If we die, we're gonna spawn with the Capri right away. Nice teammates on the other side are doing good job on other beacons too. So we do have some, you know, good time to breathe on this area. Okay, actually we should, we should die here. All over two minutes. Or wait, maybe we, should, we can go for the center. Uh oh, someone is on this beacon. I'm gonna try to get this middle beacon before we die here. Yes, buff the Seraph, we need more flying bots. <laughs> right? I also love the flying bots, by the way. Our Chun, Hawk. Fafnir, those are my favorite robots. But the thing is that it shouldn't be, you know, too off the charts, too OP. It shouldn't be like that. Okay, it's over three minutes and we are still alive with this thing. Yeah, we're not doing much good by staying alive with this setup. Let's ditch it out. Link to the luchador. Nice. Let's get our beacons back now. Okay, north light for both of us here. Nice, we do have a Cinder Minos, we can support him. Okay, cleared out this site. Next stop is the center beacon now. Uh oh, I should have... Wait. I actually want to help our Minos friend there. Yeah, li link to him if possible. Yeah, I'm not sure if I did good by going there because we lost the center beacon by that action. Okay, we still look good on the beacon bar though. Let's focus on the center now. Minos is still alive. I, I actually want to go to help him, but... We still do have company in the center. Let's link to the Fafnir there. Okay, let's focus this Demeter. Last stand, nice. Making some maneuvers here so he misses most of his squall shots. We do have a notice here.
Uh, we are destroyed. Let's drop our own nodens here. Try to support some of our teammates. Okay, another nodens on that side. He has squalls on that. Okay, let's boost up some people here. Let's boost this guy too. Let's boost him too. This is a really good setup for the Nodens. Nodens does a great job at healing others but not so good at healing himself. And with this setup, uh, with these weapons and with the Northlight, it does provide quite a lot of healing for himself too. Yeah, it's in the operations, you know, the Armadillo drone. If only Pixonic made a global tournament and top 500-ish get Armadillo drone. Yeah, they, um, you know, they sometimes do different giveaways on Reddit, on their YouTube channel giveaway. Maybe they are doing right now, I'm not sure. They sometimes do it. It can be good, you know, to follow them on Reddit, on YouTube. GG, yep, that's gonna be a bit short stream for today, guys. The Bulwark, I did get some... Yeah, it was some good games for the Bulwark. Even though we had some losses in the beginning. It's more like a fun setup, you know. I didn't mean to be very serious with this. GG. In my hangar, I have a... Uh, Ravana, Fenrir and Behemoth, which robots do you recommend me to put on the last two slot? Maybe it can benefit to get a Capri if you can. Capri would be perfect. Hello AMG power, such weirdo. Thanks man, I'm good. I, I hope you're good too. Yeah, it's gonna be a short live stream for today because I have some other stuff to do after this. So before I end, I want to answer, you know, if you have any questions. And just wanna read the chat. Try Erebus with Ansel Shield. For this live stream, we try the Bulwark maybe next time. Yeah, the Erebus actually would be quite, quite crazy too. Especially with the jump unit, I'm thinking about it. And the Erebus is actually, it's relatively fast than the Bulwark, I believe. So in some cases, it can be even better. But this one, this one, I feel like this one is more special because it has all types of shield, you know, the physical one too. With the Airbus you can get the other energy shields, but with the Bulwark you have all types of, you know, all in one. Do you speak Arabic? Nope, I don't know Arabic, unfortunately. Hello, Nix R. Give me your account password so I can continue the stream. <laughs> Thank you for coming by, my Chi. GG's. Thank you to everyone for coming by, guys. Hello, random boy. Great to see you here, man. Will the other pilot for Capri work well in Champion League? The pilot without the dog. Ah, the Nian pilot, you mean. I think that pilot would do really good if, you know, there are a lot of Capris in the team. But mostly for solo, I believe the punch pilot is the better one because being immune to suppression freeze and lockdown is a big deal yeah like Nian pilot has cases where it can be really good 
like I said, when are too much, too a lot of capers in the team, but mostly for solo or overall, I think I would favor the Ponchi pilot more. Hello, Xavier Okoa, welcome. Cloaking unit are best for Revenant. Cloaking unit? Well, I'm. I don't think so, actually. In my opinion, the best module setup for the, the Revenant is one repair amplifier, one nuclear amplifier, and one balanced unit. That's what I would go with. Hello, Ziako, so called greetings back to Macedonia. Thanks for coming by, man. Uh, my name is Sonic in the game. We matched you in the game. I agree. Yeah, I actually I think I remember that. Today, right? But it was with a different font, I believe. It wasn't directly Sonic, but with a special font, maybe. Thank you very much, Fletch. Thank you for coming by and for your support, everyone. I wonder if any opponent is going to observe your build and see that you are harmless. Uh, you know the bulwark one? Well, it's not actually too harmless, you know, with the jump units you can go for the beacon, so it's in most in their favor to focus this one. Uh, will Scorpion do well with, with Sonic weapons? With Sonic, you mean the Sonic weapons, right? It's, it does perfect. One of the best setups, if not the best, you can put on Scorpion. I have Nyan Pilot on my Capri and Nebula drone. I love it. Nyan Pilot and Nebula. Oh, actually, you are right about that. Nyan Pilot can really do good with Nebula, I believe. Well, Ponchi could do well too, but... You know, with Ponchi, you have the... You have that thing with the on immunity suppression chips. So yeah, Nebula would suit the Nyan pilot better, I believe. Hello, Yam Ahmad, welcome. Scorpion with Ash pilot or healing pi pilot after teleporting ba back? I would recommend the stealth pilot, the Ash pilot actually. In current meta, you have a lot of healing perks. Three clocking unit. Uh, Spiral Blitz with Jump Units is best counter for the Lucha Door. Wow. <laughs> that, <laughs> that sounds like the perfect counter, such weirdo. Yeah, I wonder if I should try it, you know. The Spiral. You know, I actually never, I think I have never tried, you know, Spiral since I played this game. Maybe in 2016 when I first, you know, when I first started playing the game and when I was new, but since then I never remembered playing that. And no talk about the Capri nerf pixel, we don't need to nerf the Capri. I agree with you, I actually don't like talking about nerfs either. Unless they are, you know, very urgent. Like it was with the Smuta, for example. Thank you, Yam Ahmad. I'm actually good. I hope you're good too. Greetings back to Slovakia, Nixar. Thank you. Can you try the Armadillo drone? Unfortunately, I can't. I don't think I have it right now. Maybe they delivered it today to the press accounts, but I need to check it afterwards. I'm afraid to upgrade Capri because I'm afraid it will become up like a Fafnir trash and unusable robot. I don't think it would get, you know, nerf like Fafnir because uh, because the Harpy itself is a very balanced robot. Yeah, I, I don't really think it would get a nerf. Thank you very much Storm Hooper Empire. Thank you for watching those comparisons with comparison videos. Glad to hear that they are helpful. Thank you for ca coming by, Brad a bit. Hey, Mr. Dark, Dark Knight, hope all is well. Thank you, Brad. All is good. I hope you're good too. Thank you very much, Zlatko. You are being so mean to the spiral. 
Thank you for becoming a supporter member, Bolt Pilot. I really appreciate that one. Thank you very much, man. Hello, hello, Alexander. Do you have a Discord? Like a Discord server? I think you mean that. Unfortunately, I don't have a Discord server for now. I run Sonic Weapons on Scorpion with Ash Pilot. It is good. Uh, yep, it is, you know, one of the best setups, if not the best, the Scorpion setup. Alright guys, thank you very much everyone for joining in. I really really appreciate everyone coming by for and everyone that supported this live stream. We had some good games with the Bulwark, even though we did have some you know losses in the beginning, but I think it was a good one. I hope you enjoyed it. This was enough for today, I believe. I will see you in the next live stream. Hope to see you everyone in the next live stream as